Welcome back. The Alabama woman behind that kidnapping hoax a few months ago now that made international headlines is facing the music. Carly Russell igniting that statewide search when it seems she vanished after calling 911, reporting a toddler walking alone on the highway. But authorities finally realized neither she nor any child were ever in danger, and she made the whole story up. Nick is back right now. What does this mean? Could Carly Russell face jail time? Uh, the, the answer is to that, Adrian. yes, indeed, she could. The question really is how much jail time. The 26-year-old nursing student was ordered by a judge to pay more than $18,000 in fines. The judge also recommending a one-year jail sentence. But with that decision already facing an appeal, this case could end up in the hands of a jury. Carly Russell was found guilty on two misdemeanor counts, filing a false police report and falsely reporting an incident. Russell's attorneys telling News Nation they have no issue with the financial consequences, but appealed the ruling because the judge recommended jail time. Under the circumstances uh, of class A misdemeanor, first offense, if you can find where someone would put in jail, just bring the file to me and I'll look at it. Generally, they're not put in jail. So we totally disagree with that. Uh, restitution, we don't disagree with that. Uh, but to, to lock up and put in jail, we disagree. Russell vanished on July 13th after calling 911 to report a toddler walking alone on the side of the highway. Officers found her car abandoned with her cell phone and purse left behind. Now, Russell's apparent abduction sparked a massive search, and loved ones were thrilled when she finally returned home two days later. Now, she told police she was kidnapped, but investigators quickly realized the details of her story just didn't add up. A deep dive into her digital footprint found damning online searches, including do you have to pay for an Amber Alert and the movie Taken. Now, Russell was arrested two weeks after she first disappeared. The main question still yet to be answered. Where was Carly Russell during those 49 hours and why did she fake her own kidnapping? Her attorney offering minimal clues. Eventually, you'll find out the why of it. Uh, but I think you can stop saying she was out 48 hours with some guy. I think the attorney general know that's not true. I think you can stop saying she was out at the red roof end. The attorney general know that's not true. So we're dealing with issues with Carly, and we want the best for Carly. And I think that's, I, we realize a mistake was made, uh, but we don't want to just pile on right now. And Adrian, that mistake cost the county and the city thousands of dollars. It stressed out many in the community who were genuinely worried about her welfare. And I dare to say that it put the stories of many African-American women who do go missing in jeopardy. This week's guilty verdict came in municipal court, but Russell's appeal now sends the case to circuit court, where she has the right to a trial by jury. Russell's case motivated by one Alabama state senator to draft new legislation that would make it a felony to fake an abduction. That bill is set to be officially introduced sometime next year. Adrian? It jeopardized anybody whose case was legit when somebody lies uh, and a mistake, as her attorney says, so that, that was criminal, even if it is just con considered a misdemeanor right now. Thank you, Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.